I'm like walking back down to get my coffee and get Ethan and all these guys are like, you see that bear? So a little bear right down the little ridge. Terrified of bears. I am terrified of bears. And I hope he just chills down there. Doesn't ruin this for us, but yeah, that was sleeping out here in bear country and no bear sack. I mean, I, I don't know, just having stuff in our bags that they can obviously smell. That was probably not the smartest thing to do. Hello, and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Elias Cobb. I am an amateur landscape photographer. I like to bring my journeys throughout the Pacific Northwest and different places that I travel and bring my experience to YouTube. If that kind of content interests you, hit that subscribe button. I put a video out every single week. This is my first trip that I've taken since we gotten back from Norway. Norway was awesome, Sweden was awesome, the entire trip was awesome. It completely destroyed me. It took me about three weeks to get my sleeping schedule and everything else back on track, my, my workout routine, everything. I think I'm back to normal now. We are out here at Mount Rainier National Park. We are back, back from the first time I was here, which I had an incredible time the first time, which was, God, almost six months ago right now, and there was no way we can get to the area that we are now because it was completely covered in snow because I'm terrible at realizing that this place is a lot higher altitude therefore there was a lot of snow last time here now we're in the end of September and there's nothing so I'm out here with a buddy of mine named Ethan I met him on the trip I did to Lost Lake uh, and during the summer I got out there he was shooting Milky Way photography I was doing it we just kind of clicked super cool dude he's gone with me a few different places and he was the only one that wanted to come with me on this trip so shout out to Ethan the plan today is to hike up this incredibly busy busy popular spot known as the Fremont fire lookout trail. The plan is to get up there for sunset, shoot some cool sunset stuff. We're going to hopefully stay there all night and shoot the Milky Way. Hopefully get a Milky Way time lapse over Mount Rainier as you can see behind me. A couple things coming through here. There is a fire, the Goat Rocks fire going on just to the south of us, a little bit southeast. Driving here was extremely sketchy because there's a bunch of smoke, couldn't really see anything. Up here it is a little bit better. I'm really hoping these winds shift to west, which they are forecast to do, but that could change and push these fires away from us, the smoke away from us at least, and hopefully have a clear night. Another thing that might happen tonight is this cloud might not go away. Just the same old stuff, same old weather conditions that's constantly battling, constantly fighting, but who knows, we're still gonna go up there and see what happens. We pulled up to the parking lot and there's it was just shrouded in cars and people, so I didn't want to do this this intro down there. So we just probably like Five minutes into the trail, I found this little spot, headed down, shooting the intro. We are going to crush this trail. We have about three hours till sunset. Want to get there a little bit early to scope out some spots and check out the fire lookout. So yeah, let's get going. trail I've ever been on. Officially the most crowded trail I've ever been on in my entire life. My god, but really can't be upset because it is a public trail But it's a really easy easily accessible spot. So whatever and it's free day who knew it was gonna be free day Ethan scored because he was gonna have to buy a pass. So that's sick. That's a that's a positive But anyways, nothing to negativity the hike is actually pretty easy We literally came around this shale rock area and just saw the lookout just chilling there, which is 
always weird when you can see your destination from afar. I kind of mentioned this in the beginning of the video that we're trying to stay out here, so you cannot sleep at this thing. But we're gonna be shooting the Milky Way and we wanna shoot Sunrise. So I think we might, might, you know, just blow up our sleeping pads, pull up a sleeping bag and just, just, you know, fall asleep. Fall asleep, if you will, but you know, we'll see how it is. If not, this isn't too bad to hike back tonight and then wake up at four in the morning and hike back because that sounds awesome. No, no, it doesn't. But yeah, so not bad. I think we're almost there. What am I saying? We are almost there. I can see it. Go check it out. We have made it up here. It is extremely crowded. I have quickly gotten over the fear of filling myself in front of people because you kind of have to. Not the greatest news in the world. A, don't know what's, how sunset it's gonna be. B, we got some park rangers who are actually sleeping in this deal tonight. So don't know how that's gonna go with us trying to do Milky Way stuff. Don't know how that's gonna go with us staying up here at all. So about an hour till sunset, let's go out some spots and check the place out. And just, good energy we're thinking just good energy. Fortunately, I threw my bag down and didn't realize that my white cloth was right in the front of the bag, so it punctured it and it instantly started spraying everywhere. I was able to save most of it and I hit it behind a rock down there. Still keeping positive vibes, because all negativity does is just make everything worse. So, let's see how it goes. Alright, change of plans. So it is incredibly busy over there. I'm kinda bummed that there. People are gonna be staying up there tonight. Don't know what to do for Milky Way stuff or illegally sleeping up here at all now. So I think we're gonna go up this little hill that we saw to get a better vantage point where there's far more or less people than there are over there. So we're just gonna kinda walk up there, scope it out, maybe get some better sunset shots because over there it's just completely dead. All right, first potential shot. Mr. Ethan is gonna be posing, which is sick. Love having human subject in nature. It's always, it adds so much. So he's gonna walk out on this sketchy, super sketchy rocks. I'm gonna take a portrait style photo with the fat lens. Should be sick. I really, really want. There is a family hanging out at the very end of this thing, and I don't want to be rude and say anything, so I'm just gonna let it go and try to find something else. It's hard to find it out here because A, the smoke is actually a lot worse than I thought it was gonna be, and it's just way too much haze, as you can see, way too much haze, and that, that smoke is actually from the Alpine Lakes fire that's actually going on right now. So I'm gonna set up for this rock shot to hopefully get that lit up with that in the foreground. So I think I'm just gonna focus on that. Scratch that, Ethan is the man. He's climbing back out on that rock. So we're gonna probably just do a bunch of photos of him and they look sweet. So 
are just suspected. Light is hitting these clouds. Super lighting them off real quick. Got this rock. Someone over there, which is ruining my landscape shot, so I had to go portrait, but can't complain because that's that's good. That's real good. Really sick sunset. It's a really good call coming up here. Way better than spending it down there where everybody was. Right now, I'm gonna get changed because it's cold. I'm gonna run down there and grab my white claw. I'm gonna come back up here. I'm hoping, we're hoping that the only way it's gonna be there, this cloud just keeps pushing that way. Yeah, it was cool. This is cool. dinner it was delicious we are going to set up our time lapse for milky way we're up here on this rock we should have done this when it was still light out that was dumb so now we need to find our compositions milky way is out right now i can see it god it is. so we're gonna hurry up set up our compositions start shooting for the first one All right, you can't see anything right now because we're way away from our cameras and we do have our red lights on because we don't want to have any light pollution of any more of any kind getting our shot. So we're over here setting up camp. We're gonna let that go for probably an hour and a half, hour and a half or so, two hours, and then check it. But yeah, we gotta pull our sleeping bags out and sleeping pads and get nice and cozy. All right, so just an update. We've been letting those cameras go for probably two, how long, Ethan? definitely over two hours and we were gonna move them to a different spot but honestly dude i think our batteries are still doing pretty good i think we're just gonna leave them going for just a giant long time lapse so went and checked it not too long ago not really sleeping but you know that's kind of expected but yeah we're just gonna hang out here and just let those things let those things roll baby get up for sunrise <laughs> just went off about an hour before sunrise it is cold oh, the wind was absolutely awful last night i slept on and off but barely there's already people going up to the fremont lookout tower i think they turned off all their lights as they realized there's people sleeping in it i'm gonna get up make some coffee check out what we got going on out here as blue hour approaches us god i'm tired god i'm cold good proper good morning man last night was brutal uh but it was fun took a walk up here there's some people that came up here that had the same idea as we did last night they were just like it's way too crowded down there already but it's okay i mean obviously this isn't our spot and we had a successful milky way night so that was 
totally okay. I say that now, I haven't seen the time lapse yet. I'm hoping it came out. Let me know in the comments. Is it good? Is it not good? Is it better than last time? Let me know. I want to shoot these rolling hills. You have all these layers of different mountains as you cross over into like Alpine Wilderness area, but like it's so smoky and hazy still from the Alpine Wilderness fire. I don't know if we're going to do that. So honestly, I think just shoot other than just straight shooting straight into the sun. I think these peaks over here are kind of the only thing that we got going on. So I think we're going to shoot sunrise up here. If there's even a shot up here to be had. I mean, Rainier's right there, but dude, honestly, it's just so big and bulky. And I don't think there's any way to put that in the composition right now. So I think I'm going to go grab Ethan. Well, first I'm going to treat my coffee, but go grab Ethan, come up here with our stuff, set up, throw some long lenses on. We'll watch the sunrise. Should be good. Should be okay. Should be good. Successfully slept up on Mount Rainier. That's, that's sweet. That's badass. Glad we did that. I'm like walking back down to get my coffee and get Ethan and all these guys are like, you see that bear? It's a little bear right down the little ridge. Terrified of bears. I am terrified of bears. And I hope he just chills down there. Doesn't ruin this for us, but yeah, that was sleeping out here in bear country and no bear sack. I mean, I, I don't know, just having stuff in our bags that they can obviously smell. That was probably not the smartest thing to do. I'm really glad we stayed safe last night because I am absolutely terrified of animals absolutely terrified by bears but nervous right now nervous i gotta get over it we'll be fine we'll be fine the sun is just breaking over the horizon waiting for it to start touching different hills different things it's illuminating mount rainier right now Again, just as blah, I don't think it's really shot worthy. Just look at that bear just kicking it down there, which sucks. Ethan's walking back up. I'm gonna just start waiting for peaks to start illuminating, dude, and just do our thing. I don't know if I, I honestly don't know if we we'll even get a shot. I might just shoot a bunch of footage. I don't know. There's so much haze over there still. It's really, I can stare like straight at the sun. I really shouldn't, but when you can see it, it's a lot, of, a lot of haze. So I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Still looks cool though, that's for sure. As I'm waiting for the sun to pop up, I'm actually going to just cave and take one of these hazy lair photos. I don't really have any. I've never really done any. I feel like every time I see someone take them, they over edit them, over process them and like shoot up the clarity a lot. And it's just a lot of like white noise from clarity issues. So I'm going to try to take one bracketed and see what I can do with it. And hopefully it comes out okay. I mean, not the greatest picture in the world, but something to start out with for sure. Just behind us, it's just starting to catch some color, some light. Might be a cool little square pan, little square crop. Might not be. Just gonna be taking random photos of peaks and see how they go. I'm also paying attention to this bear. Where'd he go? Is he laying down? I think he's laying down next to that bush. God, dude. Keep your eye out for that thing. Yeah, this might be a nice little, little square, little soft square crop. Yeah, shooting everything at a very wide aperture because I really don't care about getting everything in focus. I actually prefer to have all this stuff with a shallow depth of field. Gives it that really soft, cool, dreamy look. So rolling with that. take one last shot and it's of these peaks that are kind of getting some light but it's got some cool contrast on it and that bear is actually getting a lot closer um, than I'm comfortable with so I'm gonna take this one last shot of these peaks grab our stuff find Ethan I don't know where he's at and then get away from this bear <laughs> Woo. 
right, I think that about wraps it up for here. So in summary, sunrise was good. It was just, you know, not super picture worthy, but that's okay. We still enjoyed it. Drank some good coffee and just had a nice peaceful sunrise. Got a couple pictures out of it. They're not, you know, they're not anything super great, but they're nice memories to have. Overall, I think the trip is a success, even though this is, <laughs> Feel like an idiot for not knowing just how popular the spot was. I knew it was popular, but A, it was a free day yesterday. B, it's extremely easy to get to. It's only like a 1.4 mile one way. So it's just, yeah, that was my bad for just underestimating that. I'm sorry if there's buzzing next to you. There's bees all around here that are coming out, which is another reason. We got wildlife, we got bears, we got bees. Time to get out of here. So Milky Way stuff was a success. At least we had fun watching it all night. I mean, dude, we stayed up forever just watching the whole thing move. We saw Starlink last night. That was cool. Second time here at Mount Rainier National Park, and it's been pretty cool. We'll probably come back to this park to explore more. Definitely not coming back to this spot. <laughs> I tell you that right now. I'm gonna end the video here thank you so much for watching if you got any value out of this video if you liked any of the content in this video please hit the like button it helps me out tremendously i'm very new to youtube and i'm still very new to photography please hit the like button it helps me out so much hit the like button for surviving well i say surviving sir surviving this this bear being over here sleeping out all night dude that's ugh sketch dude god if you like this kind of content see me go out and explore the pacific northwest which is my backyard and my local area or other places i might travel to consider subscribing i put a video out every single week shout out to ethan for coming with me a really cool dude really appreciate you coming with me because i would have been scared coming by myself i probably wouldn't have done this by myself so i'm gonna here everybody everybody have a nice day we're gonna enjoy this hike back and drive five hours back home so see you later peace